So yeah guys, this is a Thai style barbecue restaurant here that we're at tonight. And uh, it's kind of cool. They just got a cold bar with various meats. Uh, pork, chicken, fish, shrimp, different kinds of meats. And uh, they bring an actual charcoal fire to your table, right? Sets on a pot there. And then you get this dome covered grill. And uh, you got a chunk of fat up here. So you can prep your grill with the fat. And then we like to fry off some bacon first to get the grill greased up good too. And so that's basically how you enjoy a nice uh, barbecue dinner at the table. And all of the meat is cut small and thin so it doesn't take long to, uh, to cook it up. And uh, yeah, you just slowly eat. And then you've got the water here on the sides, right? And you're gonna get some drippings off of the various meats into the water. So then they've got a full vegetable bar, all right? So we got some cabbage here. So we'll put some cabbage in, all right? Cook us some cabbage while we're grilling our meats. And again, it's a real slow process. I mean, you just, you can't be in no hurry. You just kind of eat a little bit. We'll put some Thai basil in there as well for flavor. All right. And she'll, uh, you know, keep bringing some more stuff here. And uh, yeah, it's really kind of cool if you've never had Thai style barbecue. Um, these restaurants are pretty common in Thailand. They're all you can eat. So, again, you just cook you off some meats. We always do some bacon first, but we'll uh, we'll grill some fish here next. And uh, she's got uh, pork and beef, and uh, they have marinated and non-marinated. She also got some uh, clam mussels, right? And uh, I like a little egg drop in my soup. So, uh, and here's your water, right? So, right, 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 and so you can get a raw egg, and because I like egg drop soup, rather than boil an egg, I just want to crack it, right, and I want to just drop some egg in the broth, and Yen's going to stir that up, right, so, so you've got a nice little uh, vegetable soup to go with your meats, and then uh, I'll show you some more stuff here. So baby, you finish off the bacon and then I wanna cook some fish next, okay? So, yeah, let me show you how these places are set up. Uh, so you basically just got a cold bar here and they uh, replenish it constantly, right? So you got various different kinds of meats, marinated, uh, non-marinated, you got squid, uh, fish, uh, shrimps, uh, lots of different, lots of different meats, uh, imitation crab, right? Uh, some corn on the cob. So you got a lot of vegetables over here. And so whatever vegetables you'd like to have in your soup, some green onion, right? Uh, some cauliflower, some broccoli, some uh, sunflower sprouts, uh, carrots, uh, pumpkin. This is Thai pumpkin. So you can see, you know, you could you can make you up quite a little vegetable soup. Uh, with the broth, uh, this is like packaged egg, so you can use that to make some egg drop soup too as well. And then you can also add in some noodles, so rice noodles here. So it's really, uh, really convenient and not expensive. So and then you've got all your sauces, dipping sauces and stuff over here, which is just absolutely amazing. Uh, the dipping sauces that they make, of course, and then they serve uh, serve you cold drinks. So. Yeah, kind of common barbecue style here in the Kingdom of Thailand. We really like it. Again, it's one of those meals where you don't get in a hurry, right? She has got some grilled fish going now. You see, we got a good, a good boil going. Did, what is that, baby? Seaweed for the soup or for you? Oh, for you to eat. Okay. But uh, I might get some green onion. Did you get any green onion or anything to go? You say? 
Onion? You have any onion? Oh, okay. Yeah, put some of that in there. Morning glory. All right. And what that's going to be when you get done, you got these little bowls here. And so as you eat your meats, you're going to you're going to have this wonderful soup. No, I don't want any noodle in there. I just want the vegetable. Uh, I seen the corn. Yeah, we could get a little corn. I'll go get some more vegetable. I can go. So that's basically it. Your little dome, slotted dome with the uh, charcoal fire, grilling the meats, and uh, then you've got a nice little vegetable, uh, you know, boiled vegetables with herbs and a nice soup to go along with it. All right. So I'm going to get uh, a few carrots here for the soup. And some uh, baby corns. And some cauliflower. And I don't think I really want any corn today. Some sunflower sprouts. She already got the morning glory, so good there. Mm. Usually the onions mixed in with a little bit of cilantro. You can put some uh, garlic. Thank you, baby. You put some carrot in. Some cauliflower. Thank you. And this sauce, it's amazing. So Yin's already got me some fish grilled up. It doesn't take very long to grill the fish. Sauce. Mm, good. Really good. Oh, this fish is so good. Yin's really been grilling me a lot of fish. Uh, we're grilling up some chicken and pork too, but you have to learn to uh, eat patiently at a Thai style barbecue, but it's worth it. It's really worth it. That sauce is just incredible. It really, really is. So fresh and so a little bit sweet, and spicy. It's like the perfect sauce to go with grilled meats. Yin's mm. already getting some soup, some vegetable. The vegetables are cooking good. Mm. Got a little chicken here chicken. This fish is ready. 
Ooh. And then so when you pull something off, make room and throw something else on there. More fish. Not fish, that's more fat. Fish in. Eat patiently. Really good. A little bit at a time. And then you've got all this yummy goodness cooking up here in the moat. Really, really yummy vegetables and herbs in there. Mmm, again, putting some chicken strips on. So good! Thai barbecue! Literally, this is a meal you could sit around and eat for two hours. So they give you this rendered fat, and when your grill starts getting a little charred, add that fat on the top of the dome, and that'll give you a little oil coming down. Still got fish coming off. Chicken going. And let's check out the soup. All that yummy goodness. All right. Now I got all those fish. Nice vegetables. And we're gonna get some broth out of there. Yeah, the grilled meats are great, but this soup, it's in that moat, it's got all the drippings coming off the meat down into the water, is really, really good. Mm. Mm. Oh my, so much flavor so much flavor in that little thing. Unbelievable. Mm. Finishing up now, finishing the last of our grilled meats and manish vegetable and soup is just so good. I want you to look look at this broth. You know, now that that's really had a lot of meat cooked on top and stuff. Good job. So good guys, it really really is. If you haven't tried Thai style barbecue buffet here in Thailand, you gotta try it. Yeah, seriously guys, if you haven't tried Thai style barbecue buffet, I highly recommend you give it a shot. Uh, any of you that watch some of my older videos, you know that I credit uh, the Kingdom of Thailand for teaching me a lot of patience because you just do so much better here when you have a lot of patience because of the language barrier and also just the laid back lifestyle of Thai people. There's just no big hurry about things. Uh, we have a little saying called Thai time. So when us foreigners mention Thai time, that basically just means it'll happen when it happens. So, uh, you know, oftentimes people are, are not punctual in Thailand and it's just just kind of way it is so if you learn to be patient you once you kind of know that that's how it works 
then you just you get along a lot better you just have a better understanding but this is the uh, barbecue uh, buffet style that we're at today it's right here on Payune Road I've made several videos when you go down at the end of this road that's Payune Beach and there's a walk through Dragon Bridge so you can look for uh, Enter the Dragon, one of my older videos here about a month or so ago called Enter the Dragon, and that will be right there at Payune Beach, which is probably another uh, not more than three, four minute drive from right here at the uh, buffet, the barbecue buffet, Thai style. And uh, very common here in Thailand for them to use Christmas lights uh, year round. Uh, they do decorate the malls and things like that uh, for the Christmas season, but just out here in regular old Thailand, uh, they don't really change anything for Christmas. Sometimes they'll put up a Christmas tree or something like that, but you will have these lights year-round, and, uh, you know, it's just, you can see the road. It's, uh, it's not a real busy road, right? It hasn't been developed that much yet, so when you've got your place all lit up like this, then... Uh, Everyone knows you're open. And Yin told me that they are open till 11 p.m. So that's pretty good. What are you guys doing, huh? Kitty, 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 kitty. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So yeah, here's the uh, the menu right there. And it's uh, 139 baht per person for all you can eat. So 139 baht, I believe, is around $4.50. I think that's probably about right. Four dollars and fifty, maybe a little under that. Uh, at today's exchange rate, so uh, you know we try not to overeat, but you certainly could if you wanted to spend just a couple hours grilling up some little uh, thin pieces of meat, right? So we didn't. We did get full. We're both definitely stuffed, but uh, you know we didn't get overburdened on the uh, grilled meats and we had a lot of good uh, vegetables and the soup at the end is just the topper I mean that broth once you get done uh, grilling all those meats the broth is just amazing it really is amazing and the atmosphere at this place is really good you know uh, pretty much all Thai restaurants they just have a very very welcoming atmosphere you see these little little individual tables with roof coverings right I mean uh, you're outdoors it's just really really cool I'd like to get back and uh, take a look at the charcoal operation if I could but I'm not sure it's usually back in the back where they fire up all the charcoal here you can see they they will grill up some uh, shrimp for you here if you request and you just want them to uh, put some shrimp on the barbie as they say for you or whatever uh, or you can just do it yourself but they do keep a little fire out here and uh, yeah and then they have ice cream for dessert uh, they have some other dishes over here some pre-cooked meals so for four dollars and fifty cents right some fresh fruit uh, pineapple watermelon french fries so yeah pretty cool deal there's a kitchen operation cup. Mm. wow we, we grilled up some food on there it's okay, no hurry, baby. <laughs> there you go, guys. It's just a charcoal fire in a pan. Sit right on top. That's how it works. Okay, guys. Uh, TTT and Nam Yen coming to you from the Thai style barbecue restaurant. Mu Katat. It's about uh, five minutes from our house. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. subscribe All right. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, thumbs up. Good uh, like, good share. Okay, and. Good Peace.
and love to everyone. Bye-bye.